Howdy dorks. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Happy Monday. Uh, it's Unchowder. And today's a good day. Today's a crafting day. Today we're gonna do a thing. Maybe finish a thing. I don't know that we're gonna finish a thing, but we're gonna get dang close. I'm not gonna pressure myself to finish. But it, what we might. It's, uh, it, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Today's a we'll see day. Today, we are going to be applying the shiny, shiny vinyl to our shiny, shiny mask. Uh, this is the magic part. This is, you're gonna, this is more magic. It's just magic straight to back, but today is going to be a real magic day. Um, today is where we take a thing that's just plastic and rubber and cover it with a, a different kind of plastic, I guess, but to make it shiny. Uh, like, you know, this thing back here is all purple. The mask we're making today is going to be black and iridescent and shiny and, and rainbowy, and it's going to be very, very cool. So we're going to work on that. Um, oh, but I guess first, hello, mask time, mask time, also new shirt time. Check this out. Um, a friend just got back from Japan and apparently I got a gift. So I have I have a Blythe shirt and it's glorious. I love it. I love it so much. Um, so I'm wearing that today. But um, do uh, first things first. When we ended the stream last time, we had gotten all of the face parts put together, but they were just kind of tacked together, um, and there was still a bit of cleanup and stuff to do. And I sure, thank you. Um, there was still a bit of work to do, and I did a little bit of work between streams, uh, just so that you're not seeing kind of the same thing twice, essentially, um, for the, the purposes of, I don't know, not going, not, it's not stretching this out too, too overly long, um, but. I did two main things between streams. I did all the reinforcement gluing on the face part, and then I did the plastic dip on both parts. So here's what the face looks like now. Still, still black. I mean, we went from black foam to black plat to black rubber, essentially. So it's not that different. The texture looks a little bit different. Um, but you'll notice that uh, you know it, it it didn't totally fill in all the gaps. Um, it's not a very thick. Like it applies a very thin layer. Oh, you also got a shirt. Is it a, is it a cool shirt? Is it a it's like a licensed shirt or just like a cool shirt? I'm curious. What's on it? What's on it? Anyway, um, you'll see that there are still a little bit of little little gaps. I don't know that the camera's really gonna hold it. Your shirt from Sekiro. I don't know this stuff well. That's fair. You're close. Um, it is. It is also in stream chat. Um, all right. Was it? Where'd I put it? Um, it's from Elden Ring. It's our wolf boy. It's our best boy, Blythe. Um, is that, that's who that is. He's our best friend. Now he's on my shirt. Um, yeah. Uh, Beak looks great. I know, right? This came out very, very good. Um, I'm, I'm digging our, we made a little bit of an alteration to the original pattern, right? We basically chopped off this corner. It came out like back here and made kind of a 90 degree angle. I just chopped a bit off. Um, so it looks a little bit different, but I'm liking it. Um, yeah, all I did was I did the reinforcement gluing. I did, you know, I did the little trimming and I made it look nice. Um, the whole, the, the bridge of the nose was a little, a little crooked. So as I was doing the reinforcement gluing, there's a little bit of muscling to kind of get it back in line. The whole thing is a little asymmetrical as you do. Um, but I'm thinking that when we get the two halves glued together, they'll kind of stabilize each other. Um, and I think it'll, I think it'll be, I mean, A, it'll, it'll even itself out a bit and that'll be enough. It's, it's going to be a little, little asymmetrical and that's totally fine. Um, but yes, uh, cool. I didn't play Elden Ring. I think you'd finished it before I came to the streams. I think that sounds right. Um, I was doing quite a bit of Elden Ring. Elden Ring was like the first thing I started streaming and then Dwarf Fortress came up, uh, came after. Yeah. So I did, I basically did Elden Ring until the Steam version of Dwarf Fortress came out. I think that's how that worked. Um, but Elden Ring is also, in theory, gonna get some DLC. Um, so we'll be, we will be returning to Eld Elden Ring uh, someday. Maybe, maybe sooner, maybe I'll get bored and we'll do more randomizer. Who the heck knows? Um, that's, that's always on the table as far as I'm concerned. Anyway. Where was I? Plastic dip. Plastic dip. It's not a very thick layer. That's what I was trying. That's what I'm getting at. 
Um, it doesn't really fill in gaps. It doesn't like seal holes and whatnot. There's still a couple of couple real small gaps where I didn't get, you know, hot glue in there 100%. I don't know. I can't. My cameras, very, very low quality cameras. Not very low quality, but like these are streaming quality cameras, not like TV quality cameras, definitely. Um, anyway, you know, you can't rely on it to like fill in holes. Um, it's not, it's not doing that much smoothing. Um, but you can see, especially on the inside, like it sticks to the hot glue real well as well. So it just seals the whole thing in there. Um, that's, uh, I did, I think I did a coat on the inside and then I did two coats, two or three coats on the outside. I want to say I did three coats on the outside and then another coat on the inside. Um, you could do more, you can always do more. That was, that was like maybe half a can between these two pieces and four or five coats between the, you know, two bits, uh, the two halves of the halves. Uh, words. Words are hard. I went through a good half of a can. Um, but that was like the last quarter of a previous can and then probably like the first quarter for the next can. So who, who the heck knows, but one can sh did the whole thing. Uh, should be fine. You'll probably have a little bit left over. Um, and then, yeah, I, I did it out on the porch. It was cold. So I... I had a little box set up as a, kind of a paint booth and I brought the stuff out there, did a coat, and then carefully brought it back in between coats uh, so that it wasn't just sitting out there in the cold the whole time. So it was kind of, you know, at room temperature as it was as it was drying. And then I just took it back out there each time to, to put a new coat on. Um, and I, like, I put it in a box and like kind of tried to seal it up a little bit while I was inside because this stuff stinks. This stuff stinks real bad. Uh, so even just it drying like I didn't spray anything indoors I just I sprayed it outdoors and then took this back inside and it still stunk like real bad so um keep that in mind uh, but now like now like I can get it smells like a tire now it doesn't smell anything like it was when it was drying um just after a couple days of air drying it's it's totally fine you can put your head in here it's not gonna you're not breathing fumes or anything um yeah, pretty neutral rubbery smell. Um, that'll probably fade over time even, so. Um, it, I did that middle of last week, maybe Wednesday, and today's Monday. So a little half, half, less than a week, and everything's totally fine. But yeah, um, I think that's all I have to say. Um, we're just gonna, we're gonna cut out a bunch of vinyl, and we're gonna get to it. Um... I have some thoughts on the order that we do things in, but uh, we'll we'll talk about it over there. Hooray! Hooray! Uh, let me let me move over there real quick. And I'll get to it. And I'll make sure everything's working. I think it is. Nope. Or no, this no, it doesn't. Ugh. Stupid, stupid things. Let me see if I can get it to connect. Really? We're talking about two microphones. You see a cat? Good. Uh, why? It picked, it just picked a different thing. I hope so. Okay. And then in theory, you can hear me still. Testing, testing. Looks like you can hear me. Should be, should be good. Um, tell, tell me if the camera cuts out. 
Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that. Um, it it did that to me once while setting up, and it's never done that to me before, so the fact that it's happened a second time, within half an hour even, real, real good. So if it, it's probably just gonna cut out randomly. Yay, yay for using what you have. Um, anyway, we have our vinyl. This is our main star for today, right? Um, and wraps the plastic, but I haven't actually opened it up yet. There's a, a piece of tape. Oh, come on. I don't know if this one will have it, but every once in a while, you'll get like a free goodie. Uh, oh, and this is all wrapped too. I put in, so this is a fresh hobby knife blade. We, we, we use this a lot for chopping a lot of other things, uh, especially like paper and stuff. Uh, I'm not seeing a, I'm not seeing a bonus in here. No, maybe it was just that other brand. There's another brand that we were getting stuff from and they would put in like a little, you know, one foot by one foot off cut in there. Just for the heck of it, look at this. Oh. This is gonna be cool. I don't know if you can really. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be cool. Okay. Um, so it has a paper backing, and we're gonna we're gonna be using the back most more frequently. Um, the other thing that I've done ahead of time, I took all of our all of our pattern pieces, all the pieces that we used for cutting out the foam pieces. Separate them into their two piles. So these parts go with the front, these parts go with the back. Um, so that we just keep a little, a little more organized. Um, but I'm going to start with the back part, with the skull part. And... I want to I want to be I want to be particular about the order of operations here. I think what I want to do I guess the main thing I want to be careful about is I don't want to apply these two faces before we've glued the halves together. If only because this seam here. I don't want to have I want to be able to have the, you know, the vinyl from this piece to kind of bleed over onto this piece. We're going to overcut all these pieces by, you know, like maybe an eighth of an inch. Um, so I want to be able to have these cross this gap. Uh, but the rest of this, it don't matter. So I think we're basically going to do everything except for these two pieces and these two pieces. Everything else is basically fair game until we have uh, the two halves put together. So we're kind of just going to go for it. I think I'm going to start, you know, kind of at the top and go around. Um, so then this top piece, oh hey, it's right here. This is our top piece. Just need one of those. Dash all these over here. We're going to take our vinyl. All I'm going to do, I'm going to trace this. I'm going to give myself a little bit of room. Uh, of course, it's not like a doesn't have like a 90 degree angle on it. But I want to give I don't know what is that. What is that actually? Uh, let's see. Yeah, about an eighth. Yeah, an eighth is a good ballpark to shoot for. Um, you're not going for exact. The main thing is you want your line to be parallel, but the actual distance you can be, you know, you can be a little plus or minus on it. You don't need to be that precise, but uh, shooting for about an eighth of an inch. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna trace around the piece itself, because that's, that's simple. Okay, I'm just gonna get these lines in here. It actually marks. Wow. I need to press harder, apparently. Okay. 
Maybe I need a pen. Yeah, I need a pen. Do I have a pen? A ball pen. Be fine. Okay. Now. You probably can't see that at all, can you? See if I can do A bit better. Okay. You can probably see that a little bit better. Hopefully. Um... Also have hot glue all over this pin apparently. What kind of dork was using their pin as a little broad stick for hot glue? Was that me? It was probably. Uh, okay. Then I'm gonna cut with. I think I'm gonna do the exacto blade. You could probably do scissors, but I—I I mean, I want these to be really straight. I want these to be really, really crisp lines. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do like this. Um, I'm not gonna bother marking out my eighth of an inch plus. Um, I'm just gonna hold my straight edge, you know, about an eighth of an inch out, and then kind of eyeball and make sure that it's parallel, and then just go for it. Slice straight through into the cardboard, apparently. Fine. Seems fine. Wow, this blade is real sharp. Really, really sharp. Yep. Okay. Then there's, you know, this little, little extra bit. Yeah, that's very sharp. Now we have piece number one. Oh, and see, I... Hmm. This has like a little... There's a little indent here from where the tape was. <laughs> uh, I might... I might call this a mulligan. No, yeah. I think I can, I think I can show that to you. Little, ugh, little indent there. Maybe that shows up. Yeah, I'm gonna. We're gonna call that a mulligan. <laughs> Ignore me. Do it again. And check. Like, you can even see there's like this line where that label was. I just do. We could do here. Make sure it's nice and smooth. I don't want I don't want weird lines in it. Like this. Of course, like this doesn't go all the way to the edge, so that's so I should actually like I was trying to use this edge as a cheat to like not have to cut an edge, but I think you kind of have to anyway. Uh, we'll just do that.
to keep my my straight edge on the same side for these cuts every time i try to get fancy and cut like left-handed i have slicing off my finger i'm gonna try not to do that today that's better Slice off just a bit from this side. That's better. This have sometimes they have like a protective sheet on top. I don't know that this one does. I think this is just the vinyl. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna peel off the backing. Oh wow, it's sticky. Just gonna center. Try to get all of our our overlaps kind of even. Get it lined up right. Good. My fingers are sticky already. I'm gonna try to get it stuck on there without any bubbles. The stickiness is going to leave a little residue. Okay, I might have to come back and wipe it up somehow. But once I got like the face itself stuck, then I'm going to come back around and push down all of the overlap bits. Make sure it all gets a nice, nice little bit of pressure to stick down. Goo gone or something. Yeah. There's there's one. No, I'm putting black on black, so who knows how well that actually shows up here. Can I? Yeah, oh man. Look at that. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do good here. We're gonna do good things. And then, yeah, this was, there was some stickiness there. Okay. We'll just have to be careful. Does not look easy. That's fair. I mean, I'm just, we're just tracing. It's just lines. Uh, it, it requires a bit of a steady hand, I guess, but I don't think it's too bad. You get the hang of it. I guess that's the, the upshot. Um, so I'm going to do well, maybe these two pieces. I'm going to basically going to pick a piece on here that I want to do and come back over here and see what piece that is. Oh, it did the thing. Uh, is it really going to do this all? Repeat, we have a camera down. <laughs> Thank you. Seriously, I just have to... <laughs> code gray, code gray! I seriously just have to unplug and replug it? That is so... So cool. It didn't... We've. This is the fourth stream I've used this software. And it, I, I updated it like a stupid person. I was like, oh, there's a little update. Sure, whatever. Now that's the one we want. There's nothing in the patch notes about it dealing with the stuff I do. Surely it won't break anything. 
sigh. Anyway, uh, can this fit in here? Not really. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of chop off the very end here. And this, there's probably a piece that will fit on here. I'll just keep it handy. OBS updating. It wasn't even OBS. Like, OBS has given me plenty of trouble in the past, right? Uh, but this is the... Called Camo. The thing that connects... I'm using my phone for this camera. So the thing that... Let's OBS see this device's video is called Camo. And that updated. And that's what's and that's what's being troublesome right now. It's been fine for three streams. It's been quirky but fine for three streams. Now all of a sudden, it don't want to behave. Well, that's super cool. Um, I'm gonna position this in such a way that I don't get those weird creases. Right? Do something like this. And same kind of deal as when we were cutting the foam. This is a, a triangle that looks real generic, right? Real symmetrical. And make sure to say that this is this is our left. Here's our bottom. And then I'm gonna flip the piece. Okay, that should be fine. like that like that and then this is it Oh, she's left her perch. I might just chop this whole thing off. Trying to be conservative with the vinyl, but I think we also have plenty here. So there's a triangle. And there's a triangle. 
we have a little little bit of a flat point there, but I also think that's fine. These are gonna be under, right? Okay, so then our L's go on this side. Then our, our 28 goes that way. So let's get this. Okay. No. 28. All right. I did. I did something wrong. Oh, because duh. Okay, so because <laughs> I'm because I'm cutting them upside down. So this is actually the right side, right? But how that's then if I do this? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm just confusing myself. I'm I'm using my template piece upside down. So if the template piece is face up, then it's the reverse. Yeah. So this is I marked it as right, but it's actually left. It's fine. It's fine. And it's just gonna go there. Just kind of doing a little test fit to make sure that it covers all the pieces that I want it to cover. I want it to, you know, cover this whole face, but also go over onto the next face a tiny bit. I definitely want it to cross like the gap. That is the main thing. Peel quite as nicely as other vinyl I've seen. Well, it's like trying to split the paper. No. So, I'm gonna get all sticky again. Why is it doing that? Hey, huh, what's happening here? Is that part isn't sticky? It's like the stickiness. I don't know if I trust that. The stickiness is staying on the paper. Why would that happen? Get to come back up. The heck? That is so weird. That is very weird. That's okay. Place. There you go. I'm gonna kind of work from the middle and work out to make sure we don't trap any bubbles under there. And yeah, just press him out, press him down the sides. And same thing here, right? Just gonna go like that. Hey, how do I get this? When I, if I get my fingernail between the vinyl and the paper, this, there's like a separate layer of the adhesive that wants to stick to the paper. Or my finger. That is so weird.
Not too bad. Then as you see, I have a little bit of an overlap on the top here, but it's like almost totally invisible, right? Like I can see it when I'm looking real close, but it's you have to know it's there. Okay, so then that's just scrap piece. This goes in the done pile. Done. Make a pile of just full up. That pile goes over here, I guess. A lot of piles, and that's trash. Okay. So now, I want to come up front. I want to do these two. Uh, so that's going to be this piece. Go through and try to find it. This one. All avoiding these weird presentations. They go away once we're past this first layer. Get... Please get the one. Upside down, so this is the left. Rip. I'm gonna do like. Snip this off. Right, that all. Oh. Ugh, there is another little. Oh, but I left the actual tape on there. Can I get the tape off? Maybe that's fine. You can kind of see it. You can kind of see it. Ugh. Okay. Well, I'll we'll do the one. Being wasteful here. I'm being picky and wasteful. This is like the cool part. I need it. It's got to be shiny. Almost. Okay, for real? For real?
I'm about to get mad. Connect. I unplugged and replugged. Why? Why are you this way? Let's go. Okay, and this <laughs> comes in that pile. Oh my god. I think put it in here, yeah. So I want, I want it this way. Someday, I will not have technology issues. Right? I don't just tell myself that. Oh my goodness. Need to press a tiny bit harder. Alright, I didn't just cut two of the same. Okay, good. I mean, that only lasted like. What was that? What? I mean, what time is it? That was like maybe 15 minutes. What is that? What's all that about? I changed nothing about my phone. Literally, the only thing I did was update the thing. This way, yeah. Oh my goodness. The brand of vinyl that I didn't necessarily recognize. I'm also not like very well versed in the vo in the world of these vinyls. Not like I would have known what to look. But yeah, this this back end situation is a little strange. Just have to make sure that the sticky part comes up with the vinyl, which is not. The thing I've ever had to care about, right? I wonder if it's just because we're at the start of the roll. Maybe it'll get better as it goes. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Good enough.
It's the stickiest thing on the paper and my fingers. That doesn't... I hope that doesn't bode ill for how sticky this vinyl will be in the permanent set. I guess we'll find out. Stick. see what's going on here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Paying a little special attention to the corners. I want to make sure they lay as flat as they can. They should, like, help each other stay down. As long as they're sticky. Yes. Mm -hmm. So shiny. It's so, so shiny. I feel like I should just leave this over here looking shiny so we can like watch it. Watch it get shinier. There you go. Um let's do let's do these two sides. What is this one? We did we did this one. I forgot my drink. It's got this really in like the the iridescence has this really interesting texture. It's like it's very square. It's got like it's like pixels. It's like very very grid-like but not every cell is like colored in you know what i mean or maybe they're like different colors so they show up at different angles but it looks like it's almost looks like a di like digital snow but rainbow colored it's very cool the way it hit the way the light hits it in some angles quite dramatic which is what i want i think it's gonna work um i still have a little bit of this weird Impression. I don't want to worry about it. Come on. Might work for something else later. We'll have some smaller pieces on the face. Sure. Now this should all be fine. I screw it up somehow.
So then this is the right side. Maybe it's just something about cutting it with a hobby knife like this, but that wouldn't make any sense. Nothing here is ideal, including the streamer, don't worry about it. And this piece goes here, yeah. Looks looks good. Make sure these corners sit as flat as possible. Especially like when, you know, four pieces meet, you'll end up with, you know, four pieces of vinyl stacked on top of each other for that corner. Self, but you are ideal self-love, that's fair. Thank you. I ain't, but thank you. Why would this be how you behave? I'm just gonna be wrestling with the vinyl all day. Concerned that this is not a wholesome hashtag. <laughs> Why? What could be wrong with that? Is it actually a hashtag on Twitch? spend all day wrestling with this vinyl. And that's going to upset me. This peeling the backing off the vinyl should not be the hard part. I'll say that much.
It comes off on my fingers, even. Hmm. Well, if it starts falling apart, then you'll know why. The other thing that you can frequently do with vinyl like this, and that I will probably do, since it is being super fun, um, is a, a heat gun. It will help kind of reactivate the adhesive, help it stick a little bit better. Uh, so once everything's together, I might hit it with a, a heat gun real quick. Like it, it really doesn't take much, but uh, I'll, I'll kind of help it pull in a little bit and, and uh, adhere real good. That might be might be more necessary here than in other projects. And hopefully, I mean at least with my other mask, at least with the other brand, the vinyl stuck to the stuck to itself real good. Like one layer of vinyl sticking to another layer of vinyl was like set. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm seeing the same effect here. Oh, well, that's real cool. Wasn't depending on that or anything. We're gonna see how this works. Um, it's gonna be pretty at the very least. Um, I was just gonna say, oh, I wanna, like what brand is it? This is Black Ant DIY Craft Final. A whole lot of info here. I guess worst case, you can reskin with the different vinyl layer. Yeah, exactly. I mean, with the plaza dip especially, like this would all peel off. We're not, we're not really screwing anything up here. Ace transfer paper. Yeah, their their intent is that you have your own transfer paper, which is not uncommon. Not. Not unheard of, but you know, sometimes you can find you can find vinyl like this that has its own little plastic sheet just in there. So then you you leave it like you cut it with it on, uh, and then you apply it, and then you can peel it off later, like a like a piece of electronics protective screen, whatever you call it. Hmm. Well, we'll see. For demonstration purposes, this will show you the process at the very least, and then if it turns out that my product selection was not ideal, then I'll let you know later. It'll be unfortunate though, because this is the one that looked cool. You know where you belong, stickies. Like I'm like each time I'm messing up one of these corners. And the corners are the parts that are like really persnickety. Oh, hello. Did someone can barely see the notification? Someone follow. Welcome, welcome. 
We're making things shiny today. I think. Like the the sticky part wants to get on my fingers as I'm applying it, and then I, you know, use the same finger to try and push it down. So then the sticky ends up on the outside of the vinyl, the exact opposite of where it's supposed to be. Oh well. Fire beware, I guess. I hope it takes these corners okay. Oh, I hope I don't regret everything. My god. Okay, let's uh let's come back. Come back here. Do this big back piece. There's a lot of people here. Did I get raided or something? <laughs> I don't have... I can only see my chat here. Thank you, Anonymous Gifter, for, for 10 subs. That's ridiculous. Very, very nice. Thank you. Um, we had this happen earlier. I don't, all these... All the people down here, all, all these... Oh, I do that. all these people <laughs> I don't think they're actually all here I think when they uh when they get gifted a sub well the, like they're not here but they're they got gifted a sub so then stream avatars pops them in uh, so they'll all go away in like five minutes but thank you F yeah, 15 subs holy cow does that put you at number one whoever you are I haven't had that many gifted subs did is did you get knocked out of number one jam <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll do, we'll do this piece. We'll do it over here. That anonymous, I'll tell you what, they get up to a lot. Best being knocked off the top that could possibly happen. <laughs> That's fair. I guess I can't really complain. Do it backwards. I'm gonna. This is the risky one. I do it the right way. Oops. See, that's the other risk is I can go too far the wrong way. Oh. Oh. That's fine. Whatever. One side I did a little wonky, but it'll be fine. And end up there. It's again not ideal, but here we are. Oh come on, behave.
seriously have to make sure to get my fingernail between the paper, the stickiness. By the time I do so, I've like taken off all the sticky on a corner. These aren't gonna... Ugh. Okay. I'll be mad about it later. Right now we're gonna focus on... <laughs> on doing the thing. And... If I'm gonna throw something, it'll be off stream. We'll, we'll hit this with a heat gun later and see if, if it behaves a bit better. Okay. So let's do these two. 28, 29. I found you. Oh yeah, F Zero music. I have been playing F Zero ninety nine in my in my own time, and let me tell you, that's a fun game. It makes me wish I had a capture card. Kind of. <laughs> I'm sure I'd embarrass myself, but I've been having a I've been having some fun on my own. Almost S tier. Like A plus, the very, very tippy top of A plus.
There's one. It offsets, right? Yeah. Good. Good. What's the story behind the crow skull? It's pretty. <laughs> Don't gotta be much more of a story than that. Um, I mean, I I wanted to make I wanted to make another mask. I I made the first one, and it's just kind of been living in my mind for for a while now. It's just it was it was fun to do, and I wanted to do to do another one. So, and then the question of like, well, if I did another one, what would I do? question was very obvious. I would make one for my partner. What do they like? They like crows. So that's that's kind of the story. <laughs> this uh, this pattern, the paper craft pattern itself came as part of a, a pack originally. The, the deer skull and the crow skull belong. They're two parts of a four part set. So they're they're very similar stylistically which I thought was a benefit. They would, you know, they'd look good next to each other. Those are great. Crows are great. Very smart. Good, I think. Oh. Agree wholeheartedly, yeah. Personally, I'm I'm still not very good at like telling the difference. Like if I see if I see a corvid on the on the sidewalk, like, is that a crow? Is that a raven? I don't actually know. Is it a jackdaw? I don't know, you just go ka and they go ka back. More F zero. Why not? Why not all F zero? We have magpies. Uh, in in this part of the country, do we have magpies? I guess so. I know that I've seen them in Colorado, uh, back home. But yeah, I think they're just kind of everywhere, aren't they? They're definitely less common. Like you'll see a hundred crows before you see a a, a magpie. Yeah, they're not as common. Um, are you good? Good.
I like magpies. We used to have them in our garden. Oh, that's fair. Um, in some cultures, they're like bad luck, right? I'm not sure why them in particular, but that is what I've heard. Yeah, it's not. Mm. Oh. We'll be fine for our purposes today, but I think this final is not ideal. Live and learn. Gotta look pretty, that's for sure. Yeah. I think it's pretty good. Um, let's do do this whole back. Let's do like these back three. This and then this one. Yeah. But one of these and two of these. One for sorrow, two for joy, three for a girl, four for a boy, five for silver, six for gold, seven for a story yet to be told. I've never heard that before. Where does that come from? Huh. Neat. Avoid one for sorrow. If you see a lone magpie, you have to salute and say good morning, Mr. Magpie. How are Mrs. Magpie and all the other little magpies? <laughs> I was taught it. Huh. Interesting. folklore stories yeah I guess it helps to live in a place where all the folklore comes from I like the idea of a bird being this portent of doom, but the fix is just to ask the bird if it's having a nice day, right? <laughs> I foresee your doom! Did you have a nice lunch? I did, thank you! Doomsday is called off. This one's cool. not working it's gonna be so intermittent it's not gonna be consistent about like when it disconnects even so that's cool but how many get lots nice to remember oh get lost nice to remember some yeah
like this piece it's so it's such a narrow angle that you know if i take out if i go out an eighth of an inch on each side then this point is going to meet like way the heck up there i'm even going to chop off just a little bit that'll look a little cleaner Maybe the middle one first. Reminds me of a video I watched recently about a kingdom where we've forgotten its name. Huh. Like a real life one? I guess they don't surprise me too much. Okay. Maybe it's behaving better now that we're past that first layer. Hard to say though. Like, it was exposed to weird temperatures while shipping? Maybe that messed with the adhesive? Would really be no way of knowing. Yes, but it's from a long time ago. But it's a good video as there's lots of resources which don't mention it as it's obvious. Of course. Of course. Yeah, no one wrote down the stuff that everyone knew, right? You post that in the Discord. We watch um YouTube channel Tasting History. Where he'll go into he'll, you know, look up old old recipes and do some of the history behind, you know, the the circumstance of the of the recipe or, or you know, the recipe itself. It's always interesting to me how so many recipes that were written, you know, even even pre 19th century, no one included measurements in their in their recipes. They just say you want some flour and some water and some eggs, and you had to figure out the rest on your own. Weird. It's still being weird. Oh, 
Oh, come on. You do not need to be this way. Not need. Reminds me of bag Lego stickers. Oh, bad Lego stickers? Yeah, that's fair. Who knows? Who knows what's going on? You'd think we'd know how to make sticky things by now. Isn't this a, a, a solved problem? Make something sticky. When it comes to corners like this one, like you see, it's I'm gonna have a hard time getting that to sit. Little flat, right? Might even come in with a with a blade. Just cut a little slicey slice. Especially since this is the bottom layer. And you know, do one flap, and then the other flap can lay on top of it. Will help it sit a little bit better, I think. Might need to do that with a bunch of the others too. We'll reevaluate when we get to the end, though. Who that is, shiny? I know, right? Shiny, shiny. Yeah, 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 yeah. It doesn't take much, does it? Already transformed. We are, we're wrestling a little bit with our vinyl today, but it's going to look nice either way. if it would be better if we got like actual transfer paper but like I don't see how just the adhesive layer isn't sticking to the vinyl layer like it should weird never had this exact problem before It's dang shiny, that's for sure. Um, let's do 
like around. Let's go down this way. Please go away. Way. Go up here. Okay. I dare do four pieces at a time. This piece. And this piece. The right side. Yep.
cat. Oh yeah, cat. 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 <laughs> I'm glad she settled down. I was afraid I would have to kick her out again. She's a, a real wire monster when she wants to be. Stabbing my finger, don't mind me. Didn't draw blood, so it doesn't count. It's all on my fingers. My finger's gonna be stickier than the vinyl by the end of it. Any cat-related Christmas tree damage? <laughs> uh, no. I mean, we, we technically, I guess, have our Christmas tree up here round. <laughs> we just have a... It's a purple plastic Halloween tree, technically. But, uh, it's our Christmas tree. So she's, she's left it alone for a while. Make this work. Make sure that lies flat and that lies flat. And this is. Need photos? That's fair. I guess we haven't given photos of our. Christmas, quote unquote, Christmas tree. Just making sure that all these layers play nice. job and it's to be sticky
if at the end of the day there's just little bits that kind of hook up and don't want to stick down just right on the edges um, you could also just come by with your hobby knife afterwards and kind of slice little bits off if you need to if it's if it's literally that's the difference between things looking nice and it looking a little strange I'm hoping the heat gun will will help us though at the end if not I'll just cry a little Post the train discord, excellent. Then go They stick for a second. Kind of slowly heal themselves back up sometimes. Winners. We'll, we'll see. Sometimes you just gotta go for it. Very on brand, I know, right? It's always spooky season. Purple, yeah, purple, shiny purple things. Maybe you're sensing a pattern.
Let's get in there. The camera definitely hides a lot of the things that I'm seeing here as far as corners sticking up, so it's... It looks like I know what I'm doing. Um, let's do... Maybe finish the back. I do... These four. Go forward. Do that. Kind of like place it in a way that looks good for anyone who shows up. What time is it? Oh yeah, we're not finishing today. That's fine. I might get halfway done with it. Right. since we're coming up to the edges, right? So this is a this is an edge piece. Right, these two pieces down here, we have a bottom we have a bottom edge here. So for this this edge in particular, I want to make sure that we go a little bit further than just that eighth inch. But I want it to be I want it to be able to wrap around and I want it to actually be attached to the inside by a little bit. Um, so there's like the, the thickness of the foam itself. And then maybe another, I don't know, half an inch? Let's call it half an inch, plus almost a quarter. So I think I want to add like three quarters of an inch to, to the line of the, the pattern piece. And hopefully that's enough. I mean, that's something that I, I've experienced with with the other mask is like it'll the this the wrap around some of the spots i didn't go far enough like i just did the one corner didn't go all the way fully in and this little this little flap will kind of peel up over time i'm hoping by going further in will prevent some of that but of course this vinyl is being weird to start with so who knows not exactly a one-to-one -one test but that's fine uh, so I want to know which side of this is down. Right. So it's so this is down. Well, let's go like this. Give myself plenty of room.
gonna add like three quarters of an inch here way the heck out stay I'm gonna eyeball the I'm just going for parallel but it doesn't need to be exact Okay, I'm gonna start with these upper two, right? Uh, hmm. 
This way, right? Here's where it's gonna get weird. Slit this stack of vinyl. Over there, and then this goes over the whole thing. There we go. Not too bad. As long as it stays. Once I take off the back and I remove all of my, my little reference mics, <laughs> you gotta be careful about not losing your place as soon as you take off the backing. two pieces with, you know, some extra. That one was fine. Why was that one fine? And I'm 
just gonna come and kind of crease it like that. Of course, it's, this corner is gonna be a little strange, but we'll just make a little make a little cut. Right. First, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna push it in there. gonna make a little little slit here this side can lay flat and then this side can back over it and it should be good as good as anything else at least Gives it a nice, a nice thick surface back here. Hopefully that won't, hopefully that won't peel up on us. But it's staying, staying as much as anything else. Trying to get it to lay as flat as it can, really. All these corners just need little slices in them. Is that what I should do? It seems to help. Well. Yeah. Okay, what time is it? We got about an hour. Want to make sure I want to I want to be able to put the two halves together uh, today. That's kind of a goal here. Um, in order to do that, I want to make sure that I get this one and this one and this triangle here. I want to get those done on this, and then I want to do... I want to do, like, here and here... here? Because those are the parts that have this kind of... like, they don't meet, right? There's kind of a hole in there. I want to make sure that I get my wrap around nice and secure on these pieces, because it's going to be a pain once it's all glued together. And this this piece, I think I'm going to join with this piece. So I think that means we're doing this whole big thing. 
which geez, that's like half the face. But you know, that's also fine. I think I'm gonna do. There's also this triangle. I want to do the triangle first. The triangle is gonna cover like the, the the thickness of the triangle, and then come down onto these faces a little bit. Then these faces will come up to this inside corner. Maybe even come up along the thickness up a, a little bit more again. I'm gonna do the triangle next, which is random piece, right? Yeah, this one. Hello, hello. I have a hard time like monitoring who's actually here because I don't, I don't have my like I can't see OBS from here. I just have the chat. I'm just gonna do I'm gonna do the triangles, but they're gonna get a little more than just the eighth inch, right? They're maybe maybe quarter inch. It doesn't they don't need to be huge. This is gonna be the right one. Let's do... Do like that. to come out hips this much that yes I'm making guesses here of course I could have left myself a little bit more room oh well
guess I can't really see. so many <laughs> on sticks and sticks before this starts causing problems uh i think that's gonna be fine i'm gonna have to do some some cuts in here for these corners like that this round that this in there because we have a little undercut on this side make sure I tuck up into that right corner I can even be like this there we go. Okay, that looks good. I think that's fine. Like gift wrapping. And you know how you have to like think about the corners and whatnot? It's kind of the same logic.
Camera still working? Surprised the camera hasn't cut out again. Of course, if I say that, it's gonna. Don't do it. I get these little flaps tucked in there. This round. Use my straight edge to just shove it in there. It gets on that bottom corner nice and nice and tight. face of course my pattern piece does not you know account for our triangle but I think I'm just gonna cut this and then I'm gonna place it and then I'm gonna kind of cut out the chunk that doesn't need to be there instead of trying to like transpose one pattern piece onto another and trying to line that up I think it's gonna be tricky to to line up the way I want it so I'm just gonna cut the whole thing stick i know you're all sticky it's all over my fingers how can you not be sticky go there and we also have a bottom edge here right except this so i want this edge, we're gonna do the same thing, right? This is gonna wrap around on the inside, so I wanna extend this face, but this face is actually a blue face. I don't want to wrap around all the way. I think I wanna wrap around to the, to the thickness of the piece, but I don't wanna wrap around all the way on the inside. Because we're gonna do a hot glue, or when we're attaching the face, hot glue's gonna go along the inside of here. I want to. I don't want to be gluing on top of the vinyl. I want to be gluing the the foam to the foam. Especially the vinyl is going to be all weird. I want to extend. I want to extend this one. That'll be fun. Thank you. 
Good enough, I guess. Awkward when it's all attached to the roll like that. And three quarters here, right? and be fine. Didn't quite leave myself enough room, but that's that's fine. This is all on the back side, right? I'm gonna slice up to there. Not like I think. <laughs> Probably honestly want to slice all the way up. That or something. But we have our so we have a little flap here. Why is the pencil even here anymore? Don't work. Okay, hopefully this works. This one, yeah. Start. Yeah, this one's gonna be a little gnarly, but I think it'll be fine. I'm just going to kind of generally get it centered. Maybe. Hmm. How do I hold this? You can kind of see through it. Oh, 
Okay. And I got the top part here in place. I don't wanna I don't wanna stick onto the our triangle down here, right? So I'm making sure to not press too hard in that direction. I'm gonna do our down here. Continue this slice into the corner of the foam there. This just comes around. The rest of this. And make sure that. Okay, but. Stuff on the triangle is is stuck down the way I want it to be. I'm gonna get this into that corner. Right. Now, how do I do this? I want to take. down maybe like that it kind of worked that may get adjusted uh, but then here I'm just gonna basically slice across the top here a little bit under the top in oops without cutting the triangle itself there. essentially fine <laughs> And then then what and this is going to come around like this Sure that this gets in that little corner as I just better everything. Give it a good press. And same thing, I'm gonna come across like up here. Basically, it worked. And this, this. I guess I didn't get much. <laughs> this face doesn't have much, but I think that's actually fine. There's, I don't think that's going to get seen. Oh. Uh, 
corner. Where do we hit? Oops. I'm going to slice off the excess on this inside just to make sure we're not messing with our blue surface for later. complicated to make but now we have you know our, our triangle has has vinyl going down this this thickness but then this piece also has is coming up like almost to the top here so there's some overlap along the thickness of this extra piece kind of blends all those those seams good be fine and then this piece will do the same. It'll kind of come up to the come up the thickness of the piece. And we just do that again. Just I gotta do that again. Oh, I'm getting all these getting cat hair in all the corners that are sticking up. That's great. There's gonna be some cleanup to do. Oh, it's just cat hair everywhere. Why? Why is every square inch of my existence covered in cat hair? Because you have a cat that loves you? That's true. For better or worse, she gets her love all over me. Get down into that corner.
Same thing. I'm just going to come across. Definitely not very straight, but that's fine. Will not be a very visible corner. So for this part. Probably not the ideal angle to do that from, but whatever. I'm gonna be saying whatever a lot today. Part can wrap around. A little bit more here if I'm very careful. Helps to have a fresh blade, that's for sure. Stick, dang you. Again, you have one jump. Two jobs, I guess. One's to be shiny, one's to be sticky. Okay. I'm gonna do these two. That's the last that I need to do to get the two halves glued together. This part. corner here or a face here that needs to get extended that's this one
Um. Quarters. Enough. Right, go like that. Corners. The girl's gonna be finicky. Whatever. to come back and give all these corners attention but that's that's fine figure it out
fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna put too much attention into it now because I know I'm going to come back later. It's kind of kind of squishing my foam here, so but like this. Look, I need to peel it back up. goes down and then that's fine. much closer but it's it's further out on this side of course Everything on this side or glue the halves together. The equivalent pieces would be this, this, and this. Ugh. And of course, I'm already at the end of my, my regular time. If I go a little longer, and plug in my my hot glue, get warm enough. Oh, miss! Oh, miss! stack aside and then I want to look at I'm not gonna do the whole big thing I'm just gonna I'm gonna chop this in two it'll be it'll be fine that's what I'm gonna do that one and then got this one this one that's it one two three 
That should be all I need to do here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slice this back apart. Do these six pieces. And, the f and there's some of these faces I need to extend, right? So I have this one, so this one goes out. And this. This goes out, and also the eye. We also need to come up. Okay. Here. Going out this way, but also like this. This part. I'm gonna wrap around the inside of the eye as well. That's fun. How's this gonna work? No good place for this swamp. I didn't already didn't give myself enough room. Oh. Oh, I doesn't need to be exact, it's just the more you leave for yourself, the more you have to stick.
seriously oh man <laughs> something's gonna be weird looking oh well what i get for just eyeballing everything pieces that way okay. this part doesn't right gonna that's a piece Okay. 
it's gonna be one that I <laughs> not leave myself the room for, but what? Whatever. 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 I like almost already. Oh, cause I did that on purpose. Uh -huh. I already cut this. From here. Go up to here. Here. Because it's weird looking. Hey, I think that's fine. <laughs> Connected. Oh, good. Hello, am I here? Looks like your internet isn't working. Yeah. Hooray! Internet has done the thing. Hello, VOD watchers. This is our own little private moment. I have nothing to add. <laughs> Just wanted you to know. I didn't. I didn't leave enough space there. Whatever. That's that's already cut. We got our six pieces connected. Hello, my back. Praise Helix. Looks like your internet is back. Thank you, Twitch. And then. Mood. Is this? No, this is the VOD. How do I get. How do I get back to me? Reconnection successful? Am I here? Hello, hello. I'm not gonna. It's good. Uh, tablet, please. There we go. Oh, come on. Okay. Hello, I'm back. Uh, chat, hooray. Hooray, I got the, I got the pieces cut. <laughs> Stupid freaking internet. Um, let's do... Magical disappearing internet strikes again. Yep. There is magical, isn't it? Well then, 
bit. Or rather, like this. Do do do. Do do do. Do do. Do. This is going to be hard. That's probably not enough of a wrap around, but yep. pieces Fingers are so sticky.
Frank is telling me to go to bed. Yeah, that's fair. It is past your bedtime. I won't be going much longer. I'm just gonna get uh, these last couple teases on and then I'm gonna glue the two halves together and then uh, call it call it good. Yeah, 122. Yeah, go to bed. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Go to bed. Um, I will see you, probably see you on Thursday. I'm gonna do more Timberborn on Thursday. More beavers. Also, I like that Frank tells you to go to bed because Jezebel definitely definitely does the same thing. straight triangle ended up in here very sticky in the ways I don't want it to be on my keyboard and then starts knocking things off my desk when I stand up he runs in the bedroom. Yep, sounds right. What's funny is, I know you're already gone, <laughs> Jezebel won't even like sleep in the bedroom with us half the time. She'll like yell at me to leave the computer room and then sleep in the living room. Why do you care? Why do you care if you're just going to be out there?
Ah, ooh. Didn't stab myself, it's okay. Corner came out good. Probably a really specific method that's good for wrapping around these corners, and I just kind of just kind of wing it. That's everything I need to do in order to get the two halves fastened together. Now the question becomes, how the heck do we do that? all these corners come up and I'm like fix all this focus on one thing at a time really hoping the heat gun will just everything marry together but we'll find out Makes sense. Want this corner, this corner, right? Keeping it close.
Okay. Two. Top parts first, because it's kind of more straightforward, I guess. But it's just it's just these two lines that I'm gluing. Like these, the rest of this is all free floating. I'm just gonna kind of push them close. Guess we can do our pack glue situation. Don't need all at once. Gonna do two little dots. Start with push together on the top. I'll peel this up so I can see what I'm doing. Same thing over here, just little little dots. and shove a little bit to make sure it lines up but I knew that everything isn't perfectly symmetrical because why would it be I'm gonna give it another bigger dot in the middle Hmm. 
Now I just need to get these sides. I think like it's touching at this very outside corner, but in just like a point. Like there's, there's not two faces that are meeting on this side. I think I'm just gonna glue along this inside edge here. See, I shouldn't have even done that much. I could just slice it off. Let's just I'm take this vinyl, a skull part, put off there. Give ourselves a nice solid glue surface. Now here, I'm just gonna do a bead along here, and it's gonna be foam to foam for like 90% of it. I guess I'm gonna do two more dots, maybe three dots here. And I want, I want this corner to close up, right? That. Good on that side. Push it nice and snug on this side. I think that'll work. Snug. Just want to make sure it's nice and solid there before I start wrenching it around on the other side.
took much less muscling than I was afraid of. quick reinforcement bead up here it and disturbing it. to just stop touching it. <laughs> okay. Is generally where it needs to be. Obviously still a lot that needs to be done. Clean it up. But we now have a single mask. Look at that. Okay. I'm gonna leave that just a second to here fully. Um, but I'm gonna move over to the desk real quick and we will wrap this up for the day. Hooray! I think. I think that's what we do. Yep. Okay. You couldn't hear me, could you? Hi. Microphone. Microphones are good. Hi. I was just saying that I think we're good. I think we're good for the day, at least. I do like... I do like the colors. I do like... I do like those little rainbow lines that, that are showing up on it. I think that's good. I think it's going to look good in the light. Um, there's still obviously a lot to do here, um, aside from, you know, finishing the vinyl. Um, I want to figure out what to do with these these corners, because the, the vinyl isn't really sticking on, on the corners like it was with, with my other vinyl. You can kind of see, uh, I guess like here. Yeah, I have autofocus off because it drives me nuts sometimes, but maybe it would be better, better right now. Whatever. 
Um, yeah, like, like here. I want, I want these to, I want these to stay down. Um, it just needs to stick to the vinyl itself. Like a vinyl on top of vinyl needs to stick. Because uh, on, because on that mask, they like you put one layer on top of the other, and it's like it's, it's glued. It's, it's done. Um, this one's being a little bit different. They're all different. They're all different. I've had a different experience with every piece of vinyl I've bought. Which is really, really cool. I wish I could find something consistent. Maybe if I, maybe if I figure out a brand that I really like, I'll, I'll figure it out. But so far, it's just been really, it's been hit or miss with how they perform. And of course, like I'm doing something weird with it, right? No one makes, no one makes these products to do this thing. I'm, I'm just doing it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just doing it. Um, but I think... I think we're gonna be good. I think we'll be good. I mean, it feels, it feels solid already. It's, it's one, it's one piece, right? The, the face ain't going nowhere. It's only attached and, you know, here and then, and then down on the sides. But it's... It feels solid. It feels rock solid already, so... I think that's fine. I think this this corner came out okay. It is a little a little strange. Like it's not this corner is a little strange, but I think it's fine. A, it's like behind something. Like if you're looking if you're looking straight at it, you'll never see that. And even look from the side, you'd have to be paying attention to even notice what's going on there. Um, so I think that's fine. Could we have done without? Maybe. But I like it. It makes it match my other one a little bit better. So, I, I like that at least. Anyway, I am rambling. Rambling to no one in particular. Um, and I'm sticky. And I'm slightly frustrated with the vinyl right now. Um, but I think, I think we're good. Um, there should only be one more stream in this. Like, I, w I didn't know going into today how quickly the vinyl would go. But we're we're over halfway done with the vinyl. Pretty sure we got the two halves together. Um, we'll do some some testing with the the strap. There's gonna be a strap that goes inside. You kind of clip it around the back of your head. Um, but I wanted I wanted to get the two halves together so we could do like a test fit and make sure we know what we're doing there. Um, so I'll have that prepped next time and we'll attach that. And then that's it. Just uh just more the rest of the vinyl the strap, making sure the corners play nice. And that's it, right? That's... That's it, right? I think that's it. So I'm, I'm pretty sure next stream will be the last stream for this... for this project. How fancy is that? Uh, we have, we're making... we're making a real shiny mask. And it's, it's coming out real shiny. Um, so come by on Monday, and we'll, we'll do that. Uh, and then come by on Thursday. We're gonna play more Timberborn. Come by on Saturday and we'll do I don't know what. I'm gonna find a new game to play on Saturday. I don't know, make a suggestion somewhere. Um, other than that, uh, I hope you have a good rest of your week. And I hope you stay kind.